Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. Today on the channel, we have a revolutionary new technology to share with you today. This is the first of its kind in the whole wide world. Winter is coming and we got to get prepared. That's why I cannot wait to tell you all about the Blue Ready knob battery. Let's take it inside and talk about it. Today, we are gonna open up the Blue Eddy Pioneer Na. That's N-A for sodium. This is the first ever sodium battery. Blue Eddy sends out so much samples to influencers, especially that city prepping guy. He's got so many of these portable power systems that when it hits the fan, I have a sneaking suspicion that he's gonna like be tripping over them and that's how he's gonna die. I hope it doesn't happen, but I like Chris. He's a cool guy. The market has become really saturated with this kind of stuff. And I quite frankly don't like doing these kind of videos. You guys know that, I hate these boxes, ah shit. But this one, Blue Eddie's like, come on man, hook us up man. So I was like, fine, what do you got? And they're like, we're gonna send you these power stations that have already been reviewed by 50 people. No, I would rather get kicked in the nuts repeatedly than do another portable lithium battery bank video. Unless it's new and it's cool and it's different. And that's what this is. So this is the Pioneer Naha. It's supposed to work in very cold conditions. Got a little book that I won't read. What's this? This is a power adapter. Okay, cords, cool. Dun, 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 dun. Look at that. Sodium here in the cold Canadian North, that doesn't want to stay shut. Okay, that's the first gripe I have. Just listen to me. There's four general reasons why you would want a sodium battery. Traditional lithium ion batteries and other types of lithium batteries, you can risk damaging your battery in the discharging and recharging in cold conditions. Well, that's not a problem with good old sodium, all right? They're safe. So you're less likely to have that thermal runaway explosive effect, you know, the blowing up Teslas and guys getting trapped in elevators with their e-bikes exploding and vapes exploding in people's pockets. You don't have to worry about that with sodium. You also don't need to use things like cobalt, which of course is an industry that is mired in its ethical controversy. And it's also much cheaper because sodium is abundant. It's pretty much everywhere on the planet. The biggest drawback is that the power density is much, much lower. What do I mean by that? Well, here we have one of Blue Eddy's other offerings. If you're one of those people who live in a more hospitable environment, this is 1,024 watt hours. This is 900 watt hours. So this is actually less capacity but as you can see, it's probably 20 to 30% bigger, if not more than that. Even though this guy here has a greater capacity and is smaller, if you're only gonna get 70% out of the battery because of the loss due to the reduced temperature, you're carrying the same amount of weight, if that makes sense. So the efficiency is gonna be better here when used in a cold environment. So ice fishing, any sort of outdoor camping, maybe you're working outdoors and you just wanna charge small electronics. So one of the problems with this is that you don't really get a huge output. So you're only getting 1500 watts, which honestly, it's a 900 watt hour battery. So what that means is that you're probably gonna get about 40 minutes of use if you're using the maximum amount of power draw on this thing. So not a lot of power is contained within this device. You can definitely, you know, power any small electronic. You're not gonna be able to power bigger appliances with something like this. The Energy Kodiak, I believe, had a comparable amount of power supplies. So basically anything that unit could power, this unit will also power. You have all your USB outputs there. You know, these are probably gonna be primarily what you're using something like this for 
in the field, but it's that reliability, right? So if I'm going on a winter camping trip and I'm just looking for something to maybe charge my flashlights, my phone, and I want something that's gonna be reliably functioning at cold temperatures. Now, I'll probably have a heated winter tent, which will mitigate the effect a little bit, but you don't wanna rely on that, especially through the night, you know, when the battery is on the floor of the tent, it's probably gonna get quite cold. You're gonna lose some battery capacity. You don't wanna be discharging at cold temperatures. You don't wanna be charging it via solar at cold temperatures. In terms of recharge cycles, you're getting 4,000 recharge cycles, which is pretty good. And there's one other benefit to this technology is that it can charge much faster. This battery should be able to fully charge in half an hour. This one also charges at the same rate. Hmm. Let me ask my lady friend here, which battery chemistry charges faster, lithium iron phosphate or sodium batteries? Generally, lithium iron phosphate, Life APO4, is known to charge more quickly and efficiently. Sodium batteries are still kind of emerging and are typically a bit slower on the charging curve. So in a nutshell, Life APO4 is likely going to charge up faster. So I just talked to somebody called Google Gemini and here's what they said. Yes, sodium ion batteries are being developed to charge much faster than lithium ion batteries due to the higher mobility of sodium ions, bitch! What do you say to that? Well, I'd say it's actually a really cool example of how fast this tech is evolving. I mean, you're absolutely right that sodium ion is getting a lot of buzz for potentially faster charging down the line. So if someone like Google Gemini is saying there's some real progress there, that definitely tracks. Wait a minute, whoa, 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 whoa. Did you just call Google Gemini a someone? Ah, uh, you caught me there. I guess I got a little casual. Of course, Gemini is just another AI, not a person, but hey, sometimes it's fun to talk about these AIs as if they have their own personality, right? In any case, point taken, sodium ion is definitely on the rise, and we'll just keep an eye on how it all shakes out. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Let's uh, see what the solar panel looks like. Uh, what is this? 100 watt? What do we got here? 200 watt. Oh, that's pretty good. That means this should charge this in about four and a half hours in ideal conditions. Got all of your uh, attachments in here. Let's see if we have the right connections. I'm pretty sure Blue Eddie would be smart enough to keep the same connections. I can't remember what these are called. Some geek in the comment section. It's an FCP 2.05. Get it right. Do a little bit of this, do a little bit of that. Plug this sucker in there, just like that right there. I don't think we're gonna get enough sun in here to move the needle at all. This is gonna be blinding. Darn! Wait a minute, whoa, 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 whoa! Hang on a sec. Oh! It's got wireless charge. <laughs> 58 minutes, fast wireless chart. This is what I've always wanted. Let's see, does this one have it? No, this one doesn't have it. No, this one doesn't have it. So that's unique. I wonder what happens if you like put your brain, is this gonna make me smart? Is it gonna transfer the energy into my brain? I feel different all of a sudden. I feel like my lexicon has expanded by 10,000 words. Actually, I think I'm gonna get a brain tumor. So I lied about the fast charging, but honestly, it's only a 900 watt hour battery, which means that if we were to charge this via the wall, it would probably charge up in half an hour, I presume. It's got some buttons. It's got some input, output doodads. It's got good handles. You and one of your bros can merrily carry it through the meadow together and live happily ever after. So here we have a good comparison. Basically, one kilowatt hour, two kilowatt hours. This is 35 pounds. I would venture to say this is probably closer to about 60 pounds. So it's much heavier. So I guess the question is, if I had to go on a camping trip, would I realistically use this in the winter time over this? You know what? This is kind of the icing on the cake because the ability to just charge your phone by putting it on top, that's pretty cool or your tablet or whatever. 
I think you're getting more conversion loss with the wireless charging, which is the only thing, so it's less efficient. So if you were to charge it by USB-C, you'd be transferring the power to your phone more efficiently and not having as much conversion loss. But if we're talking about in the Canadian North in the winter time, I would probably go with this. But Blue Eddy has so many options. They have the AC200L, they have the Elite 200, they have the Elite 100, and this little mini Elite 30, which honestly, my kids are gonna love. All right, so the Blue Eddy nah, is not currently available in Canada, but all of their other options currently are, and they're having an insane Black Friday sale, 70% off. So you can get this bad boy right here for a thousand bucks Canadian, which is pretty much giving it away for free. This is a 2600 watt, and 2000 watt hour, which is twice the original Energy Kodiak and half the price at today's Black Friday price. There's also gonna be a Cyber Monday sale. Now, the specs for these other units are very comparable, if not better. Of course, you're getting more energy density. You're also getting more power, potentially, and there's just a wide array of options. We're not gonna do the entire tech breakdown. I just wanted to let you guys know about the sale that they're having, because you can get some really good deals on these, but it's for a limited time. Go through the link in the description, get an additional 5% off using the Canadian Prepper coupon code. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the video and pick up your Blue Eddy nah, if you're in the cold parts of the United States. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. The best way to support this channel is to support yourself by gearing up at CanadianPreparedness.com where you'll find high quality survival gear at the best prices, no junk and no gimmicks. Use discount code prepping gear for 10% off. Don't forget the strong survive, but the prepared thrive. Stay safe.